We're going to create a folder to host our website uh, for ASP.NET over the next couple chapters. So the first thing I want you to do is go ahead and open up Windows Explorer. Click on Drive C. And at the root of Drive C, let's go ahead and create a folder called BEG ASP.NET. Okay. Then we're going to go into that folder. And we're actually going to create another folder called site, which will host our first website. Okay, now we can go ahead and create our website. Go ahead and go to File, New Website. Again, I'm using Visual C Sharp. I'm going to create an empty website. On the bottom, you'll notice the web location. The web location can come from a file system, HTTP, or FTP URLs. And we're going to select the file system and make sure that we select our drive that we our folder that we created earlier. I'm going to go ahead and click browse. Go to the beginning, ASP.NET off of my root drive C and my site folder. And select open. Make sure that it says C colon backslash BEG ASP.NET backslash site and select OK. Notice currently our project has no files associated with it other than the web config file, which is the configuration on how this website or web application will behave. So what we're going to do is go ahead and add a couple files. And we're going to start by creating a couple folders to organize our various files. First, right click on or click on your Solution Explorer in the root, right click, and we're going to add a couple folders. The first folder is going to be our master pages folder. And let's go ahead and do this a couple times. Right click, new folder, and we'll create one called styles where we'll store our style sheets. Create another folder, and we'll call this one Controls, where we'll store our user controls. And then one more, and we'll call this one Scripts, to store our Scripts folder. It's important to go ahead and organize these various folders, because what will happen is the files will get too confusing. You have your JavaScript files, your CSS files, your master pages, and if you put them all in the root here, it would be very difficult to find the content. So what we're going to do first is go ahead and show you how to add a file. And we're going to add a master page by going to our master page folder, right clicking, and we're going to add a new item. And you'll actually see the various types of items that can be added to a page. We added web form in an earlier demo. In this case, we're going to add a master page. And we're going to click add. We're going to go ahead and rename it. Rename it by either right clicking and going to rename or clicking slowly twice on the file name. And we're just going to call it front end master. You can also bring files from outside of Visual Studio. And you can do that by again right clicking and adding an existing item, going out and browsing for that item. And you can also drag and drop. And let's give an example of that real quick by creating a styles file on our desktop. So I go to File, right click, New, Text Document, and we'll just simply call it styles.css. It's important to do this because we're going to be using these throughout the uh, following chapters. This is my uh, pop-up asking if I wanted to rename new text document.txt to styles.css.txt. Understand that um, depending on your configuration settings of your browser, it may automa automatically apply the .txt. That's fine. We'll go ahead and say yes. And then we'll take our styles.css. Again, left click on it. And drag it and drop it into our style, or excuse me, uh, yeah, our styles folder in our Solution Explorer. And notice that the file name has changed. What we can do is go ahead and again click on it, 
twice slowly or right click and rename. And let's go ahead and get rid of everything except styles.css. Select like yes. Now this does not actually move the file from the desktop into the Solution Explorer. Instead, what it does is creates a copy of the file in the Solution Explorer. So these are two independent files now.